Hi, so here's an interesting question. Actually, this question comes from Benjamin over at I Love Google Sheets. It's a free uh, Facebook group called I Love Google Sheets. And Benjamin's asking this question. Uh, basically, they have a set of series of numbers, and they want to know how many of these numbers are between 1 and 16. Um, and so there's some interesting uh, wrong answers here, and I want to show you how and why they're wrong and what might be the correct answer might be, because this uh, question comes sort of with some variables that are missing. But, um, but here's what they want. I want to count the number of values entered into these columns with each row in the B column. Um, that's it. That's the question, but I think they meant in the row. Um, I've created an example of a desired function. The outcome would like to would be automated, so they have 8 and 14. So see, up here, I recreated this, and they have this um, 1, 1, 3, 3, 4. Um, seems like some kind of score for a round, perhaps. Um, and they're sort of just counting here how many there are. There's no out of bounds. So um, look, you can do count, uh, and you just sort of select a count of, let's say, let's have this. And that's going to get you 8 and 14. Um, but there's another, per, uh, someone else said, so I think count is the correct answer here to some extent. But there are some variables that I think you could enter that might be more interesting and make this function more flexible. Leo mentioned count if. So let's look at count if and see if that's a possibility. Count if. And what we're going to do is we have a range. So we're just going to select this B through Q, count if. Um, and the criterion needs to be something. So we can set this criterion, let's say, greater than zero. And, and, and we're going to get the same answer. Great. Uh, but what if there is, like, you want to count uh, less, everything less than 10, or 10 or less, or 16 or less, and there's some other numbers here. So, like, here's 12, and if we wanted to say 10 or less, or between 1 and 10, um, this count would be 7. So how do we get that? Count if is only one criterion. You can't add another criteria here, so we can not say uh, less, uh, less than 10. You're going to get an error here. There was a problem. It's a er formula parser. error. And what you might think, if you know about formula com uh, combinations, you might think, oh, let's put an and there. And that doesn't work either. We're just going to get zero. What I like to do is use filter in this case because you have, can have multiple conditions. And so we're going to take this range filter, all of this. Uh, the condition is that this, anything here, is less than 10, comma, everything B to Q2 is greater than 0. And what we're going to get, we're actually going to get the, uh, a list of answers. Um, so what we want to do is, um, what is it, uh, count all. And there we go. So we wrap filter with count all, and now we have seven. And that is the answer, right? That is the answer between ten, z one and 10, or um, zero and 10, right? And we can do less than is equal to 10. We can even include the top number here, like 12, and we'll get the right answer. And again, we get the right answer here with uh, count all, wrapped around, filter, and have multiple conditions. And I think this is a much more flexible and advanced use of formulas here to get the same answer, right? We, we got the answer with count, but it's only going to just count the number of variables. We, we may, in some future use of this formula, want to see uh, some bounds here, right? Maybe there's like numbers that are highest and lowest, and uh, we want to take those out. We just want to find this sort of range of uh, variables. So I thought that would be interesting to show you this uh, count all filter combination as an answer that is, again, in this particular case is equal to count. And the count function is quite simple. Um, it's just counting. We can even look at the help here. It's quite simple. It just returns a number of numeric values in a data set. So if it's a number, It'll return it. And it returns the number of them, not the sum of them. So you might be looking at this and be like, oh, sum B3 to BQ, and that's 78. That's definitely the wrong answer here, right? Sum. Uh, and count if has its issues. 
Um, but also I think this count all and our count A and wrapped around filters so this is like the perfect uh, solution to this because it's just got so many possibilities from this action. Thank you, Benjamin, for the question in I Love Google Sheets. And if you are not a member of I Love Google Sheets yet, go check it out, facebook.com slash groups slash I Love Google Sheets.